First look at the official build of Cherish OS version 3.1 based on Android 12 running on the POCO F3 or the Xiaomi Mi 11X. Hey peeps, what's up? Manji here, back with another video. And in this video, we're going to have our first look at the official build of Cherish OS version 3.1 based on Android 12 running on the POCO F3 or the Xiaomi Mi 11X. The security patch, as you can see, is from November. The kernel they are using is Immensity kernel. SE Linux is set as enforcing out of the box. And this is how the ROM comes out of the box. This is how the power menu is going to look like. And this here is how the volume panel is going to look like and this is your quick settings panel you do have a bunch of quick setting tiles which do include the option of enabling or disabling your wi-fi and mobile data without having to mess with the internet toggle then you also have a toggle to switch between the 60 90 and 120 refresh rate and in case you want to add more toggles you do have a bunch of different toggles which are available in this specific rom Next up, Pixel Launcher is baked into the ROM out of the box. Select works without any issues. Screenshot also works without any issues. They do have the button to delete your screenshot as well. And of course, with Android 12, you can share your link and images from the recents itself. The recents themselves are pretty smooth as well. Then let us tap on the empty space on your home screen go into home settings at a glance is broken on this build and as you can see there is no weather in this at a glance widget but surprisingly the weather works on my always on display and on the lock screen so that is one thing another bug which i have noticed is this lock icon here somehow it believes that my device has a fingerprint on display because of the circle around it so that is another minor issue in this specific build once you have updated all your applications from the place store you do get the paint chips widget then if you go into clock you have all the five clock widgets and the analog one will let you choose a clock face as well next up if you go into the google widgets you do get the new weather widgets as well so all the widgets are present let us go into wallpapers and style so this is your ui you do have a toggle for themed icons you can configure your app grid as well and then you can also enable or disable your dark theme as well so this is how the dark theme is going to look like everything has switched over to dark mode looks pretty dope next up if you go into change wallpaper you do have the pixel 6 exclusive live wallpapers which you can download but let us go into the motif section and try to change the wallpaper to something else here it is you can see material you has kicked in the accent colors have changed and it should have changed across the applications as well so phone messages the clock application has also adapted to the new material you and the same applies for your calculator application as well and other than that your power menu the quick settings panel the volume panel everything did adapt to material you so material you is working like a boss on this specific build Next up, let us open the application drawer and here and we can check if the feature of system wide search is working or not. So unfortunately, the feature of system wide search is broken on this specific build. You do have the toggles to control what you want to be seen in system wide search, but the feature itself is broken. Similarly, let us go into settings and see if you have game dashboard or not. So let us go ahead and search for the word game. And as you can see the feature of game dashboard is also missing then let us jump over to apps see all apps and choose an application which has access to our locations so the toggle to enable or disable your precise location that feature is also missing you do have a toggle to remove the permissions if the app is not used for some time and once that is done the application is going to show up in this unused applications section with respect to the assistant the assistant lady is present she works with the screen turned on on, but she does not work with the screen turned off next up let us jump over to cherish settings so here in the first option is double tap to sleep on the status bar there it is working without any issues double tap to wake also works and double tap on the lock screen to put the device to sleep also works then you can configure your clock settings do you want to see the clock what is the style the format and the position network traffic indicators are there you can place them in your status bar or in the expanded header and you can configure 
the threshold, the arrows, and all the other customizations which you get. Then you have a toggle for all the different options which you see on your screen right now. Along with that, you can also have a custom volt icon and you can also configure what all icons you want to see in your status bar. Next up, we have quick settings. So here in do you want to see the running services icon, the edit icon, vibrate on touch. You also have quick, quick settings pull down. So if I pull down from the left, they are going to be expanded. And if I pull down from the right, then in that case, they are not going to be expanded. And of course, you have a toggle to enable or disable your quick setting footer warnings. Themes section is empty right now. For buttons, this is your volume rockers customization. So do you want music control by long pressing the volume rockers? Do you want them to reorient when the screen is rotated? Volume rocker wake is also there. You can configure that you want to use the volume rockers for keyboard cursor control. And you also have long press power button for torch here it is working without any issues on this specific rom next up you have the feature of animations which of course is empty right now then you have customization for your lock screen so double tap to sleep on the lock screen do you want to see the media cover art or not and you can also configure your blur level then you can configure your left and right shortcut on the lock screen and you also have music visualizer on this specific rom next up you have customization for your power menu so you do have a bunch of different toggles once you enable those bam here it is that is how your power menu is going to look like next up we have notifications so here then you have your in call vibration options for vibrate on connect call waiting and disconnect then you also can configure your battery charging light now i'm not sure whether the poco f3 and the mi 11x has a battery charging led or not so this option might be useless then you can configure your heads up notifications you can configure the timeout the snooze add and delete applications from your heads up notifications and a toggle to enable or disable the toast app icon next up we have miscellaneous which of course is empty and then you have information about cherish os their website the telegram channel the github and if you want to donate to them feel free to do so Next up we have notifications. So here in of course you have your per app notification control along with notification history and priority conversations and bubbles. Do note WhatsApp does not support Android bubbles right now. Then you also have toggles for all the different options which you see on your screen right now. And you also have something called notification log which is similar to notification history just that it has a bit more information and some notifications which are not shown in your notification history will be shown in the notification notification log then you have your battery so of course you have your battery usage thermal profiles are there and you can configure them on a per app basis and here are the different options for your per app thermal profiles going to battery saver you have the normal battery saver and the pixel exclusive extreme battery saver along with adaptive battery and a toggle to show the battery percentage in your status bar next up we have sound so of course you have sliders for all the different options which you see on your screen right now then you also have adaptive sound now with respect to now playing do not enable this otherwise you might have media lag issues and for live caption you also have the option of live captioning your calls so you have three different options ask every time always and off next up you have toggles for all the different options which you see on your screen right now and the most important toggle which i like is the screenshot shutter sound feel free to disable the irritating sound next up let us jump over to display so here in of course you can configure your brightness level adaptive brightness is there go into lock screen you can of course enable your always on display works without any issues no ambient display options for now then screen timeout is there along with the toggle to enable or disable your screen attention dark theme is there of course you can schedule it based on a custom time or from sunset to sunrise sunset to sunrise is going to access your location then you can change the font size the display size and the dpi similarly you also have night light again can be configured from custom time or from sunset to sunrise and you can also change the intensity of your night light using the slider then you have colors you can choose between natural boosted saturated and adaptive and you can also change the rgb balance in case you want to using the sliders then you also have auto rotate screen along with the toggle to enable or disable your face detection for auto rotate screen double tap to wake is there wake on plug and you also have a toggle to increase your touch responsiveness in case you want to
Next up, we have security. So in security, the only option you have is your fingerprint unlock and you only have touch to unlock. You do not have press to unlock and the fingerprint scanner works absolutely fine without any issues. Next up, we have privacy. Here in you do have a privacy dashboard, which is going to show you if something has accessed your location, camera, and a bunch of other options in the past 24 hours. Then you have toggles to enable or disable your system-wide camera access, microphone access. You also have a toggle to enable or disable the notification for clipboard access. So let us open the camera application over here. And then, of course, it is asking me for location. Let me say, do not allow for now. Let us try to switch over to the video mode and then we can try to record a video. So here it is, we are recording a video. And at this point, I should have a notification telling me that some camera is being used by the camera. In fact, I should have had two notifications. The other one should have told me that the mic is also being accessed. So that is another bug in this specific build. And if I disable camera access, the notification has now disappeared and the application should have crashed or it is going to tell me something about a camera error so here it is camera error cannot connect to camera why because I disabled the camera access while the recording was going on next up let us jump over to system so here you do have your gestures the first option in gestures is quickly open the camera by pressing the power button twice go into system navigation you have three different options gestures two button and three button navigation go into gestures you can swipe to invoke the assistant in case you want to then you also have the option of configuring the sensitivity for the left edge and the right edge next up you also have 100 mode here it is 100 mode working without any issues you can always create a shortcut for 100 mode as well and then you can press on this to enable or disable your 100 mode next up you also have your press and hold the power button to invoke the assistant now once you enable this how do you turn off your device well you will have to use your quick settings panel in that case to turn off your device next up you have the option of three finger screenshot as well let us go ahead and test this one out here it is three finger screenshot in fact it's trying to take a partial screenshot why because that is what i have enabled in my quick settings panel so here it is partial screenshot it is telling us off but it is not working absolutely fine for now and now it should take a proper screenshot i think there is another bug in this specific rom right now so let us give it one more try partial screenshot it says partial screenshot now it says screenshot so in fact at this point it should take a normal screenshot but that unfortunately is not the case you do have the option of capture more so now you can go ahead and select whatever content you want to capture and here it is once you've selected it tap on save on the top left and you should be able to save your screenshot next up in gestures we also have the option of your prevent ringing but unfortunately that is grayed out then you also have something called rules so let us say you want to turn off your wi-fi once you leave your home that is something which you can configure in rules then we can go ahead and check for safety net so device is not rooted right now and as you can see safety net is passing out of the box let us also go ahead and open the google play store and here and we can check if the device is certified or not so here it is play protect certification device is certified which means your banking apps are going to work without any issues with respect to youtube media playback everything works absolutely fine live caption works picture in picture works of course for picture in picture to work either you need to have youtube premium or you need to be in a specific country in case you do not want to pay for youtube premium with respect to google photos you get storage saver unlimited or original quality which is going to count against your device storage we can also try to edit a picture of my favorite football star and here it is the feature of portrait light is present and it is working without any issues of course everything has adapted to material you as well and super important thing to note over here is that portrait light only works on human objects not going to work on my chicken friend over here next thing we can check for is the app opening animations do note we have been recording this video at 120 as you can see on the top left and the app opening animations are pretty smooth there are no jitters or no 
bugs with respect to the app opening animations here are the recents on your screen again everything seems to be smooth with respect to the recents as well no jitters and no lags then we can try to switch between a few applications again everything is smooth in that regard also no jitters no lags when switching between applications super cool and super smooth then we can also go ahead and check out our google feed to see if you have any jitters or any lags in the google feed at 120 nope everything seems to be working absolutely fine at 120 now this of course is an issue which i have noticed in multiple roms that it does not you know keep on scrolling endlessly it just stops even though the content is loaded so at this point i think this is an issue with either pixel launcher or with the google feed or with google i don't think so it is a rom issue at this point but again i might be wrong on that regard so what is the final take on cherish os well cherish os isn't cherishable right now you do have some bugs some ui elements missing and you know some features missing so not yet ready for prime time but yes it does look a pretty impressive rom considering the features the smoothness everything else again just needs some polishing and bug fixes before this can be considered a super dope and super cool daily driver for your poco f3 or the mi 11x and that will do it for this video Hope my video helped you. Likes, shares and subscribes are appreciated. Feedback and comment more than welcome. See you when I see you.